Are we good now? Let me go back to the top just real quickly here. I know we went a little fast here. So this is just the recording of number 1A. B. And C, the giant one here. This one you had to know the, uh, the summation formula for sine. Uh, after that, then it's just algebra. Okay. Wicked okay. algebra. No, no one got that one right. <laughs> the uh, the one C. Okay. All right, and then there's two, and we just finished this right here, right? Boom, boom, boom. So I'm just gonna gliding through here to the end. Okay, we're good there. <clears throat> My sentence for one C. I did not know how to do this at all. <laughs> okay, now the more interesting derivatives. Don't simplify this out because no. it's going to be too crazy. That's my favorite way to do derivatives. <laughs> Which one? Leave it messy. Leave it messy. All right. Ultra. It's just the calculus. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> so, in this one, I think if you missed it, you just forgot to put down the other function or you forgot to take the derivative correctly off of that one and or you forgot your exponents you took the five there and like oh it's gone do you think it would be possible to do an oral final for next like chapter or next semester whenever we have to do that instead of, Bef no, well, before, we, of before the written test wait that's what we did but this was just on chapter three wasn't we it do you think we, should do, we should do an oral this, this was... an oral test for every chapter that would no, probably help we it would probably help <laughs> Yeah, for practice a bunch of problems and then not necessarily graded. Yeah. If it wasn't graded, I'd be Well, what we should do is uh -huh. communicate more on our homework because if we talk to each other and do homework together, then that is the same thing as we're helping each other. Mm -hmm. And that yeah, just way. listen, you guys do it, it would make way more sense. Remember when Dr. Rain said that Asians have a tendency to do study groups together? Like and then we realized, Asians, but... yeah, and then we looked around and it was me and Enrique and Christopher and Eli all in the corner. All in the corner. <laughs> and we were like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that did not help us this time. <laughs> that did not help us. <laughs> we brought our grades down together. <laughs> <laughs> that is so down. funny. There was a study by a uh, calculus professor. Man, I forgot what university he, he um, went on to. So what he decided to do is actually to test uh, the Asian students because it's international program. They have a huge international program at the college. So um, he tested um, an American. So it was a pretest for calculus. Like how much knowledge do you know, right? And so when he did that, uh, he found out that there was not much difference between the students, at least in particular for his university, for his classes, right? And so, but then towards the end, that was, I think that's where the study is coming from, the fact that uh, the, he did it, the, Thesums, I think it's Thesums, Dr. Thesums. Um, so then he, uh, he made them record what they did, how much hours they spent on homework, what they did, and that was the study that came out. It oh, was yeah. uh, the fact that the Asians said after they've done their homework, after they've done this, they, uh, they would they come together, together and they would talk about it. And like, wow, that is so interesting. I think it's also just cultural differences. They're, they're, like, they're more communal they're than we are. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> well, we, okay. we were supposed to have our thing on, oh, what's it? Uh, Discord, but we should just like because we have our I'm gonna put Kay on our like texting screen so we can yeah. ask each other questions. I'm thinking of those Fridays that we have the extra class. If yeah. you guys want to come in, that would be a perfect. I got time my too. tutoring moved to Wednesdays and awesome. Thursdays, so I can do it. Now. Okay, yeah. so free period on Fridays. Let's do that because that would be the homework time. That would be and to I talk have about really crazy questions. <laughs> those are <laughs> related to homework. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, C and D, let's go for it here. Uh, D, I put in there because D was such a crazy one. Um, I did it because eventually you just need to do it separately. That's what I wanted you guys to sort of see. Like, if I can't do it together, I'm going to have to do it separate off to the side. I did that and I still got it wrong. <laughs> and they would go from there. So, so you need to take the derivative of the top and the bottom separately and then use the quotient rule on it. Yeah, uh huh. So you got the product rule. To yeah, too much to do all at once. That would be Can so you long. Can you zoom in a little bit? Because I can't read all. Sure, sure. Yeah, Harper 
the light on. It's the light, yeah, the lighting is too dark. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I can't Tim, you turn on the lights here. Is that please. an N? Two? Thank you so much. Uh, X. It must be an X. Okay. Correct, yes. Uh -huh. so I would not so simplify that. So messy. So, also, that's I it. did like one quarter minus one, and I did negative a quarter. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Basic <laughs> algebra game. <laughs> Wait a second. What did. Okay. Talk to me here. Talk to me with D. Are we okay there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I must have made some algebra mistakes. Because okay. I did it so I did the derivatives for each part separately. Uh -huh. And I tried to put them together, but see. Mm -hmm. I don't know all of it. So uh -huh. Um and then also I, I don't know. Did, like, did I mention symbol math to you guys? Symbol lab? Yeah. Okay. That would that would at least if you take derivatives. I did well. each of these. I didn't get it right. Uh -huh. I must have messed uh -huh. And then I don't know. Okay. Oh, I didn't get that one right. I got oh, I just left five out. thirds. Oh, what if I did wrong? We did completely really different. Right here. So you ended up with not like the second you. function. That I can't write. It's the derivative the first. Oh, times. No. Right. 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 So so the first. I forgot. I don't yeah, that was that was it. Okay, keep on going. Uh, three more minutes to go. Here's implicit differentiation. Um, for the most part, you guys did good on this one here, I think. Don't tell me you don't want to take time. So if you want to write down the answer, that's fine too. If you want to just say that for later. Uh, 5A, implicit differentiation. <laughs> you were closer. Yeah, but still not. I mean, okay, so I think I just I just flipped it wrong. Yeah, yeah you flipped it. So then I just I amaze myself <laughs> at the the many ways I do the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, yeah you switched it to the top. I think uh, and then you cubed it, right? So you uh, switched the y to the top and you cubed it. Instead of taking the cube root. Uh-huh. And so uh, the, the negative just switches the front and back, but it still stays as a one third. Well, because I have the I don't even know because I had the x on top the whole time. Then I divided it. I had the y on the bottom of the fraction. Oh no, you did too, but then because I had I had the y on the bottom. But then uh -huh. and then to get yeah, so you would pull it. And you just here. Reads, it switched into a power of three yeah. when you took the reciprocal, as opposed to just keeping it as one third and then flipping it over. So not, oh, so just not a major. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. One more question. Uh -huh. This here, just make sure the three is like cube root of x, but yeah, it's not three times. Okay. 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 I think we have to stop here. Uh, let's see, because I'm out of time. And the spirit doesn't need to yeah, let me do this here. Let me just scroll down oh. to the video. Wait, for the we. tangent line, oh. was it supposed to be two things? Yeah, uh huh. Okay, I just. So, so the I tangent line equation, uh, I try to uh, trick you guys what? because when you uh, <laughs> put a one in for x, you get two different y's. So so therefore, you have two different tangent yeah. lines. But then when I plugged negative two and one in, they both came out to the same answer. So I just didn't worry uh. about it. And I, I figured I should give you a graph of it here. So you guys can watch the video later here. The graph of it looks like this. It's an oval. So here's your first one. There's your uh, there's your oh, flat line. So sneaky. And then this is your second one here. There's your one right there. I had negative two and then I crossed it out. I was like, no, it has to be. One. I was like, can you do a tangent line? Because that's not even a function. Yeah. Mm. Second mean. derivative, that was mean. <laughs> Sorry. That was also mean. But and we finish up with that one. When it comes down to it, it was just so mean. Save this for the last two, or I got to get a two-dollar. For the second derivative.